Analysts and Singapore's central bank expect a bumpy start to 2024 in consumer prices before inflation moderates over the course of the year. Now, central bank estimates estimates rather inflation will average up to 3.5 percent over this year, lower than last year's 4.8 percent. Risha Matthew tells us more. Holiday expenses rose more quickly in December. That's one reason why headline inflation that month increased slightly on year to 3.7 per cent. Services inflation was also driven by transport fares, which went up more strongly late last year. This year, there are more price hikes. Goods and services tax is now at 9 per cent, and electricity and gas tariffs are due to go up this quarter. As such, an analyst expects inflation to stay sticky for the start of the year. Ultimately, this is essentially contributing to a broad-based increase in business costs, uh, which uh, kind of, uh, um, I think in this high-cost environment, businesses uh, want to, uh, will have no choice but to pass on uh, the higher cost increase uh, to consumers. The central bank and analysts expect external conditions to improve and inflation to gradually moderate this year. So firstly, Singapore being a global price taker and therefore a continued drop that we are seeing in global food prices and still quite stable global energy prices alongside a strong Singapore dollar would help to contain imported inflation. But secondly, domestic labour cost pressures are easing uh, due to a less tight labour market. The Singapore Department of Statistics adds that the lowest 20% of income earners were not hit as hard as other groups, despite prices going up last year. For one, healthcare subsidies helped counter service cost increases. Also, main drivers of inflation like cars and holiday expenses affected them less.